How we doing today? Hope everyone liked that time lapse in the beginning, trying something new. Obviously, uh, doing something like that is a lot more uh, effort and time consuming than just making a quick video cutting open the eggs, but I think for video purposes it's quite a bit uh, more pleasing to watch than just someone slicing open the eggs, and plus every other uh, snake dude on YouTube is just cutting eggs and stuff, so try something a little different. I thought it turned out pretty nice, but uh, maybe that'll be the new thing going forward. But, got a nice clutch update for you guys today, starting off with this girl. So the pairing was a cypress clown to a uh, pastel banana clown. So everything's clown. Obviously what we were shooting for were uh, cypress banana clowns. Stay tuned to see if we got one, but this is a beautiful, normal female clown. I probably won't be keeping her. I kept a awesome, uh, normal female clown from last year's season. She's growing great, doing great, so I don't really need two of them. But this girl is phenomenal. Next up is this girl, who is, uh... Also, a female normal clown. Super, super nice. She's a way more busier pattern than uh, her sister that we just showed, but really cool head. Again, awesome normal clown female. Great snakes to have. Alright, here we have a pastel clown. Actually, don't know what this guy is. Uh, uh. Wow. Apparently, this is a female too. I have to double check all these. I always do, but really, really pretty. Again, nice higher pattern. Yeah, that's good enough. Super cool girl. Next up is the last uh, non-banana clown. This guy already tried to bite me a few times. It's coming out pretty headstrong, but this is a pastel 
cypress clown. So again, what we were really looking for in this clutch were uh, cypress clowns. We only got uh, two, unfortunately, out of eight eggs. Theoretically, it would have been nice to have four because it's a 50% chance per egg, but I'll take what I can get. I'm pretty sure this is a boy. I'll just double check. Yep. So, beautiful male pastel cypress clown. I feel like this one's going to be a really good eater. His attitude says anything about him. Oh, look at that. First time hatching cypress clowns, and I am not disappointed at all. Super, super cool project to get into. That is him. So this is a female maker, male, male. So since the mother to this clutch was the one that was the banana, all male bananas that come out of this will be female maker, male bananas, which is pretty cool. Always a nice bonus. But these guys turned out very, very nice. Everyone just had their first shed. So, figured we'll just film them all as a group real quick, but yeah. Can't really ever get tired of hatching these guys. Whether they're male or female, I think banana clowns are a super, super underrated project. I know some people don't like bananas because they don't think they make the nicest adults, but I don't know. Something about them that I love, like those teardrops right there coming down the side. The purples, the orange, the purples, the oranges, the yellows fuses together so nicely. But here we are, female maker, male banana clown. How we doing? Nice, cute little guy. All right, next up is his sister who is a female banana clown. So the last one was male, female banana clown. Right now I'm thinking I will actually keep her, at least for the time being, because you can never really have enough of this stuff. These are awesome, awesome snakes. Uh, pretty much patternless, like all on her side. She has that main, uh, obviously clown dorsal going down. Her head is uh, darker than her brother's, a little more color. Darker than her brother's, a little more color. Which is cool to see, but yeah, I'm a fan of her. You got the, the uh, <laughs> occasional little uh, purple blotches. That's pretty much all she has for pattern down her side. But super, super cool. Again, banana clowns. Love them. There's so much you can do with them, and they just add like a whole other uh, palette of color for what you're trying to work with. I love the purples. I love the oranges, and just how clean they look. But, yeah, I'm setting all these guys up in their uh, individual tubs today because they all just shed yesterday, and I'm thinking she'll just go right into the old back rack. We'll see how she does, but here we go. Might as well keep something from this clutch because these are all really, really nice animals. But, yeah, female banana clown. All right. And here we have a female maker, male, pastel banana clown, and a clown. Which again, awesome bonus that we get the uh, female maker part for every uh, male banana that we hatch from this clutch. But he is super, super nice. Also, love hatching these snakes. I have a uh, old back female from a similar clutch last year, and she's doing great. Pretty much identical to this one, but yeah, people seem to love these. Really, really nice boy. It's a shame we only got one of these in the clutch, but I'm glad we at least got this one. This is a female maker, female maker, male, banana. So, this is the exact animal that we were shooting for with this clutch. It's a shame we only got one, so I was crossing my fingers that he would at least be a female, but he's a female maker male, but still very, still very, very cool. This is probably one of my uh, favorite snakes that I've ever produced, I've ever produced. Just, this pattern is absolutely crazy. 
you get the uh, orange, and then the purple outline, and then the yellow, and then the purple dot in the middle. It just goes like that all the way down the snake. You get the blushing on the belly, super clean belly, nice orange head on him, a little purple here and there, but this is a super awesome snake. I made the uh, banana GHI clown, also a female. I'll put a picture of him in this video, but he was a really cool snake too, and uh, he didn't even start getting his color really until like the second and third shed, so I expect a similar result with this guy. He just had his first shed yesterday, but... I'm guessing with his next shed and the shed after, he'll just get more and more colorful. But, this is a super, super cool snake. Actually, let's put him down for a minute. I'm sure he'll look really nice on that Rifty Chip. He do! Look at him. But, phenomenal animal. Happy to hit him. We've got a few more uh, Cypress Clown type clutches in the incubator right now, so... Hopefully we continue the trend of making really nice things, but yeah. When this guy shed yesterday, I just couldn't stop looking at him. Just an unreal looking animal. And this is one of the ones that, uh, to the people that don't think, uh, like banana clowns age well, I'm sure this will be one to watch out for, because I guarantee you he's just going to get nicer and nicer as he ages and grows, but yeah. Female maker, male, banana. Cypress Clown. He will probably be for sale since he's not a female, but hey, if he doesn't sell by the year end, I don't know. Maybe we'll just end up keeping him. So I'm sure I'll find a place for him around here somewhere. But awesome, awesome clutch. Very happy with the odds. Very happy with the healthy babies. And uh, hopefully we can get more videos like this out. And I know I always say that and then I never end up posting anything, but. Hey, maybe 2022 is my year. And if not, we'll try again next year. But, thanks for watching YouTube. If you watched the whole video and you actually got this far, uh, appreciate it. Alright, peace YouTube. Thanks. Subscribe, like, comment, other things. Follow my Instagram, because uh, we're not doing too well over there. Alright, <laughs> thanks YouTube. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.